Hi Power and Grace Rock students, it's Miss Alexa. Today we're going to be working on a plank, so I'm going to show you two forms of a plank, the proper positions for them, and how to perform them correctly. Alright, so first we're going to do a quick warm-up and stretch. Don't focus too much on getting your heart rate up super high or getting in a really nice stretch because our stretch is really going to come after this skill. We want to stretch out after we do this because it is a static strength skill, so we're going to be holding some muscles. They might start burning, so then we are going to stretch it out afterwards. So this is our plank position on our elbows. So we want to make a straight line with our body. As you can see, my from my shoulders all the way down to my heels, I'm in a straight line. My booty is not up super high making a hill. My booty is not down super low, dropping and arching my back. It's all squeezed in tight in a straight body position. My shoulders are directly over my elbows and my focus is down so that I can hold this nice position. It might help when you're working on it if you want to put something on your booty like if you have a dice or maybe a book just to see that you get that balance there and you're not lifting it up too high or dropping it down too low. All right, now this is a plank on our hands. So it's the same situation. I'm trying to make a straight line from my shoulders to my heels. So I'm squeezing my body. My booty's not up. It's not dropping low. And my shoulders are directly over my wrists now in a complete straight line. This is also a prep for our push-up, so we really want to make sure we can hold this position nice and tight for a while. All right, so now this is a complete strength scale, so we want to try holding it for as long as we can, maybe starting with 15 seconds, then working up to 30 seconds and seeing how long we can go in the long run, just to strengthen up those muscles that are really important for all the rest of our events. And then after you're done all that, you might get a little sore, so you want to stretch it out. It's really nice to stretch out your abs in a seal stretch, and you might want to stretch out your shoulders in a kitty cat stretch. So just stretch out afterwards to cool those muscles down so that you don't pull a muscle.